Hi Aries, welcome to a new era. My name is Emma. Um, Aries, we are doing your general reading um, from today, the 2nd of November, sorry, 2nd of December uh, till the 15th of December. So it's just in the middle of the month. And today on the 2nd, we have Jupiter, Jupiter I believe, moving into um, Capricorn. So that is planeten Jupiter in i stenbocken. And that just means basically that it's going to be a lot of focus on like abundance and your good, like the business side of things, uh, work, um, just anything really related to career and what you're doing in your life is really enhanced if you ask the planets. If you ask yourself, it might be enhanced every day. That's all I have to say about it. Uh, but it's also always fun when Jupiter is around because Jupiter is just really a light, light energy. People for millions and millions of years, maybe not, ten thousands of years. Maybe not even that, but has thought of Jupiter as being really light and fun and playful and adding like money and work and abundance. So let's see specifically Aries what's going on for you for the upcoming two weeks. Uh, and it's a general reading, so take whatever applies. When you feel like I'm starting to talk about something, just feel into that what what that means for you. Uh, I'm just having things everywhere here. Uh, okay. So first up, moving forward, then we have illusion. Then we have children. So I'll dive deeper into these cars. Give me a moment. So just like I said, it's a general reading, so take whatever applies for you. But look at this card. It's like it's the Statue of Liberty, which is Fred's Gudinan. You're moving in out from stagnation, out from staleness, out from sort of almost standing still when it comes to maybe you've done a lot of things, maybe you try to put the right foot forward, uh, getting things going, starting up things. And as I said, it can be work related, it can be um even for relationships, it can be even for relationships that you you try to maybe you meet somebody and you just try to, like this time around, I'm going to put um, the best effort in there and it's just all going to be grand. And then and then it's like mm, nothing really happens. It doesn't. So you're doing it's not necessarily that you're just sitting at home, not doing anything, but it feels like the things that you have been trying to put to get into motion and put forward uh, sort of hasn't picked up a lot of momentum, I feel. But now it does. So starting today, it feels really like it's it's going to start to pick up speed, if that makes sense. So whatever it is that you've been planning for, striving for, um, maybe contacting people and it has been really lame, the responses that comes back or things like that. This card, it says move, movement forward, uh, get ready for positive change. And... <clears throat> When the Statue of Liberty shows up, it literally, I mean that she's, she's in New York. Uh, and so it can mean that literally you're going to New York, maybe for the holidays. Uh, there's something about the, the Statue of Liberty in your own life, like you're reclaiming your own freedom. Uh, there's something about like when abundance comes in the way <clears throat> Jupiter speaks about, it can mean that you are finally out of some sort of debt or some sort of like maybe if you've been like just really trying month to month or even day to day with your financial situation it's like it's slowly just think of um when you're sitting in traffic and traffic just and you're jammed in there in like lines and lines of cars and it feels like it's not going anywhere and so you're just stuck you just stand still you have your foot on the on the well maybe on the break because you don't want to roll into anybody else but you know the feeling when all of a sudden the traffic just starting slowly to move even though it's so freaking slow it's that 
awesome sensation that yes, we're we're rolling, we're moving somewhere. So I feel like this is not gonna hit you over the head. It's not something that's gonna come in so unexpectedly that you fall over. It's gonna just start to slowly roll, which is an awesome feeling, and then and then just slowly pick up momentum. And it's not like you then have to decide where to go or then have to decide, oh, where now when it has picked up speed, where should I put my focus? What what is it that I want to grow? When you're in traffic and traffic starts rolling it again, it's not like you're all of a sudden, uh, we're rolling. Where where do I want to go? You probably have already set your mind or GPS like on a on a goal. You know where you're going. That's even why it's more frustrating that you, that you haven't gone there faster because you know exactly where you want to go. If that makes sense. So whatever you're striving for right now, whatever you're reaching for, aiming for. Whether it's, it can even be internally, like you're, stri- you're striving for just finding easier thoughts within you, finding, uh, maybe you dealt with health issues, tough thought issues, uh, belief systems that doesn't serve you anymore, things like that. And you really have tried your best to put down the really good job, done a good job, um, and done the work to sort of get rid of that thing. And it sort of eh, just still haunts you, body is still sort of out of sorts. But for these upcoming two weeks, I feel like we're doing like an upgrade. It's like a newfound place and the momentum is starting to pick up. The speed is starting to pick up and you know what the goal is. Okay, so that's really good. And then after that comes the illusion card. Um, which means you see the mirror there. She's looking, uh, she's not looking, <laughs> but she's holding her hands on the mirror. And so everything that she does reflects in the mirror. So everything that you do right now, and I feel like it's very heightened. And when it starts to pick up momentum like this, you're starting to move forward. Um, it just means that whatever you're, whatever you're doing is going to ha- like have a fast, you're going to see fast evidence of it. I don't want to use the phrase because I, I think that people use it in the wrong context when they say, be careful what you wish for. Uh, but it's it's somewhat like that, like not be careful what you wish for, because it's awesome that you can decide what you wish for. Um, so I, I'm going to put that in, in the in the fun, exciting sentence, like um, pay attention to what you wish for, because it really is going to happen quite fast when momentum has picked up speed not at a very first glance not when traffic is just picking up it's just a beautiful sensation and when it has picked up you sort of need to okay now we're coming into an intersection am i going this way or this way well it's a good thing you have the gps so just follow the gps your inner gps um yeah, we're going right here, we're going left here, and know sort of in advance where you want to go, because I feel like wherever you put your focus now, or your, your mind now, it's going to it's gonna show up pretty, pretty fast in your life, and it's the illusion card, so two things, don't take it so seriously, like it's not such a, such a serious deal what you're doing, uh, just, okay, I'm here in this life, what do I want to do, what is fun to me, what do I want to spend my days doing? Where do I where do I feel the most comfortable? Am I using my days to my best ability? Am I using my days to really enjoy it the most that I can? Or am I just sort of sit, sitting them off for being in the wrong career? I don't know. But take that lightly. Just have fun with it and sort of run with it and, and you know, play with it. And also when the illusion card comes out, it's, it's just talking about how you truly get to choose what you want to choose. It's all an illusion. Is nothing out here that's real. And so why not play? Why not decide for yourself exactly what it is that you want? And then comes children. So uh, this might be the fact that you are dealing with children right now, that you are having children around you. Maybe you're taking care of your own children. Um, just something of importance with children for you. But also I feel like for the inner child, like your own inner child and how your inner child, how sort of the inner child is just being healed at the moment and really 
It's not like you walk around maybe feeling like your inner, oh, what are you up to today? I don't know, my inner child is being healed. <laughs> it's not, I don't feel it like that at all. I just feel like the past maybe two, three years probably has been the most intensified in terms of clearing out old belief systems that you have picked up maybe since you were four years old. And I feel like now with this child laying next to the tiger, which is my um, symbol for power, I just feel like your inner child is just getting its power back. Like you're every, ever since you're, it's like you've shifted something leading all the way back to childhood. And now, now when you look at yourself and now when you feel into your like inner core, it's, you're really in balance there, or at least getting there <clears throat> and getting the power back. Okay, so there's something about feeling really like strong and um, like you know what you're doing and not sort of question yourself so much anymore, but rather just go for the things that you want that maybe, I don't know, a year ago, you wouldn't have done the same thing. You would probably have questioned yourself a bit more, but since you've agreed to really heal yourself from the inside out i feel like a lot for you have, has shifted yes and so then we move into creative wonderment follow your passion it feels like this is a beautiful process for the upcoming two weeks we're starting here we're moving forward we're picking up pace we have traffic slowly getting going again we're choosing what we want to choose um and then Aries, you get your, uh, just the power back from your childhood, literally. And then we move into this. This is just you holding a really high vibration, really, really following the next step. I think this is really focused on just take the next step, not to be so, set your goal, um, it's a good metaphor when I say when traffic starts to get going and, and you put the GPS in for where you want to go, it's a good, it's a good metaphor for your own GPS. Like, okay, so you know where you want to go, but the GPS doesn't say, okay, we're starting here and here's the end goal and go. It doesn't do that. It doesn't continuously say the route is four hours away, go. The route is four hours away. Go. It doesn't say that. It says take take your next exit, uh, turn right in two hundred meters. Uh, you know, go straight in the roundabout. Whatever that is, it's like focus on the next step. And I feel like have a vision about where you're going. Be clear about where you're going, and then sort of just drop that. I just feel completely just let that go, and then follow your inner GPS where the inner GPS shows you the next step, because I feel like there's something here. You're not doing it overly majorly much. Can you say that? Um, you're just doing it somewhat. So it's almost not good that I bring it up because maybe you will focus on it more, but this is really, uh, is really beneficial for you to know. It feels like, okay, so I have an end goal. So let's see, take New York for instance. So you plan to go to New York and then uh, your inner guidance is telling you to, uh, I don't know, get a haircut. Maybe your inner guidance doesn't tell you to get a haircut, but maybe you feel like really inspired to get a haircut and you like, that makes sense. I want to look good when I go to New York. Um, but then your guidance is telling you to uh, go visit a friend the weekend before the weekend you were going to go to New York and you're like, I'm going to go to New York, New York. So why should I go there first? I don't know. Are you with me? Lame, lame metaphors, but it feels like when you're, when you're a bit too hung up on the goal on where you're going, it's like you're missing the next step. Like the, the guidance within you is wanting you to get to take the next step and the next step and the next step. And it's like when you have too, too much focus on your end result or your end goal, it's like you're missing the point of the next step. So it's like have your end result and have your end. I'm going to go to New York. Okay. And then drop that. Just do whatever you need to do about it. Like book your flight, do whatever you need to do. But then 
almost all together let it go and then focus on where your guidance wants to have you next to to so that you really can be benefit and, and have it's like the universe is trying to yield to you trying to get you a lot of things and and it's like you're turning some things down down this is not a major thing as i said you're not missing out on a whole lot whole lot of things it's just a few things right now i feel you're sort of closed off to you you're not even having it being a presentation for you that you say no thank you to it's right here and you're not letting it in because you're too focused on new york if that makes sense but other, other than that, it's just a beautiful energy. It's a beautiful card uh, that speaks a lot about creativity, uh, which is perfect for the, like for the upcoming two weeks and, and a lot of focus on work and career and um, just what you feel passionate about, really. Uh, it, can, it can even be like closing into Christmas. There's a lot of people getting Christmas presents at this time. It can just be that. It can be passionate about decorating at home. It can be, it can be really anything. But it feels like you, you've gotten the energy back to do it. That's what it feels like. It feels like an awesome two weeks for creativity and fun and finding what it is that you want to do and actually see movement in it. I, that's the key thing here. You're going to start to see movement in it. Okay, guys, I hope this resonates with some of you guys and that it uplifts you out there. And that was the reading for the upcoming two weeks. And I hope to see you back. And oh my God, thank you so much. I've reached a thousand. <laughs> so for you guys who are here and kept being with me ever from the beginning, not that I've been here so long, but I passed 1000. Yay. So thank you so much, guys, for the support. And I hope to see you back in a week. Take care. Bye.